Hello, so today we'll be considering the execution of a warrant of arrest outside of jurisdiction, so outside of the state where it was issued. Because you know that sometimes um, a warrant of arrest may have been issued for the arrest of a suspect in one state, and then the suspect flees to another state. And let's imagine the warrant was issued for the suspect to be arrested in a legal state, and then he flees to let's say Delta state, how did the police go about executing the warrant? Now, the first thing is that the warrant is going to be taken to a, a judge or magistrate in the state where it's to be executed for it to be endorsed. Of course, when we talk about it being endorsed, that means for it to be signed. Um, now, before endorsing the warrant, the judge or magistrate in that jurisdiction where the warrant is to be executed would need to confirm two things. Now, first, we need to confirm that the warrant was issued by competent authority and that the offence for which the suspect is to be arrested is an offence that is known to law in the jurisdiction where the warrant was issued. All right, so he needs to confirm first that the person who issued the warrant was competent to do so. And of course, um, the persons who are competent to issue a warrant are um, judges and magistrates. And, and then he needs to confirm that the offence for which the um, accused person or the suspect is to be arrested is an offence that is recognised by law in that state where the warrant was issued. Um, because you remember that under the criminal code and the penal code, you have different offences. And there are offences which you may find under the penal code which you would not find under the criminal code. So it needs to be confirmed that the offence for which the person is to be arrested is an offence that exists in the state where the warrant was issued. Now, after these two things are confirmed, then the warrant will be endorsed and the police will now proceed to go and arrest the suspect. Um, after the police have arrested the suspect, the suspect will be brought back before the court um, in order for the judge or magistrate now to make an order for that person to be taken back to the jurisdiction where the warrant was issued, um, for that person to be tried, or um, the court may also grant bail to the person if they are able to meet the terms for bail endorsed on the warrant. So that's the procedure for um, arresting, effecting a warrant of arrest outside of the state where it was issued. So in summary again, step one is that the warrant has to be taken before a judge or magistrate in the state where it's to be executed for it to be endorsed. Step two, before endorsing the warrant, um, the judge or magistrate would need to confirm that the warrant was issued by competent authority and that the offence for which the person is to be arrested is an offence that is known to law in the jurisdiction where it was issued. Step three, is that after the warrant is endorsed, the police now proceed to go arrest the suspect. And then the final step is that the suspect is brought back to the court for the court to now make an order for the suspect to be taken to the jurisdiction where the warrant was issued for him to be tried there, or he may be granted bail um, if he meets terms endorsed on the warrant. Now, one last thing to point out is that sometimes um, questions may ask you about um, the judge or magistrate in the jurisdiction where the warrant is to be effected or where the arrest is to be made, inquiring to know if a prima facie case has been made against the suspect before endorsing the warrant. Now, is there any jurisdiction for him to make such an inquiry? And the answer is no. Um, the judge or magistrate in the jurisdiction where the, war where, where the warrant is supposed to be executed does not have any authority to inquire into whether a prima facie case has been made against the suspect. Um, his own part is just to confirm that it was issued by competent authority and that um, the offence is known to law in that jurisdiction where the warrant was issued. So that's the procedure for um, making an arrest outside of the state where the warrant was issued, outside of jurisdiction. And I hope uh, you've understood that clearly. I'll see you some other time. Bye for now.